Today, we're kicking off an exciting project at a local university. We're transforming this space into something truly special. Welcome to Caldwell. Well, this is cool, huh? I didn't actually go to college. No, me neither. But now we're working at one. No, I've been here before, though. Have you? I have. For what? I, I toured a couple oh, years toured ago. When you were thinking about college. Yeah, yeah. All right, so here's the deal. Like, this is one of their main plazas. And uh, they like to see something, like, really cool out here. So we're going to do a trio of spheres. But what I want to do is make it, see, this is like, these are garden beds. There's going to be a, uh, their mascot is a cougar. They've got a, a bronze cougar coming that's going to go at the end. This is gonna be like the focal point here. We can see it outside this George Newman Center. Mm -hmm. And as soon as the students come in, this is the orientation right here. So it's like a cool presentation as they come in. Right. So spheres, but I wanna make it a garden field. So we're gonna drop in some large boulders around it, create some planting areas on the corners, probably do some sort of grasses or something. And um, there's future plans for maybe even adding a pond on this side. But right now, like this is the main focus. So what I wanna do is get, this is coming out. Mm -hmm. this, uh, this marker here. We have power in the bed already. We do have to watch when we're digging here. They're not sure about some of the utilities, so we have to be really careful. Right. All these flowers are coming out. We're gonna get our reservoir in. We got uh, 12 small aqua blocks, pump vault. We're gonna run a, a 5,000 aqua surge pump on this, and then we'll do like the manifold with the valves and all that so we can control the water coming out of the spheres. Right. Lights, uh, the whole shoot and match. Are we... Uh... Are we going to replant any of these? No. No, we're going to be doing our own plants, like those grasses. So these are going to come out. We'll put them to the side yeah. over there, and they want to reuse them somewhere else. They can. Mm -hmm. But these are mostly annuals. There's a couple bushes in here, like these barberries. But we'll take them out carefully, just put them off to the side, and then they can decide what they want to do with them. Cool. Uh, as you can see, we lay down plywood. We have to be super careful here. This is a big paver courtyard. We don't want to mess anything up, especially with our six-ton excavator. <laughs> but we need that guy to get those boulders in. Right. So what I want to do first is, uh, let's get this cleared out, mm -hmm. mark out for our reservoir, and uh, let's go to work. Sure. Hey. Oh, I thought you were <laughs> waving at somebody. Yeah, you. <laughs> Now I'm sure most of you already know what an aqua box is, but for the newcomers, here's Joe's take on these very useful boxes. So what is this? This is an aqua block. Today I'm going to show you guys how to put one of these together. What an aqua block is, is a structural void inside of our liner. They're super strong, super resilient. You can drive a truck over these things once they're installed. So they come in packs like this, set up with panels. Just that. We take our large panel first. Put this guy on the bottom. I'll grab a couple of these middle pieces. These will provide a, all the structural integrity inside the aqua block. Let's do it. Set them up like this. We like to think. We like to think. You see it. Now we put our top panel on. That's completed off the block. These things are super useful for making our vaults hold in water. This is one of our smaller ones that holds 17 gallons. We have larger ones that hold 32 gallons as well. These will hold all the water that we need so that we can run these skiers. All right, Bowley. Joe did an awesome job explaining how the aqua blocks go together. Now let's lay this thing out. All right. We've got a nice, nice big open space here. We took all that, that mulch and those flowers out of here. So now we got some good dirt to work with. What I want to do is we're going to find our grade. 
that we build a reservoir at. I'm gonna work off of this metal edging here. That's gonna stay. All right. I'm gonna shoot this. We're using our zip level. Shoot this, I'll get zero, which will be our benchmark. And I want the top of the blocks to be five inches below. We're gonna do a bib liner on top of this and have some water around the spheres. So we have to recess it a bit so we can actually do that. Okay. And then we got 10 inches for our block. So we're gonna be 15 inches below that edging for our excavation to put in this, this reservoir. So I think what we'll do now is we'll find the center. Let's take a tape measure, find the center of this. And I wanna lay these out um, four long ways and then three on the short side. That's gonna give us a good footprint to set these spheres on. We're gonna arrange these three, kind of like triangulate them. I think we'll have like the small one up here, the big guy back here, maybe the medium over here, kind of just giving it a cool uh, triangulated effect. And then we've got our pump vault, right? That we're gonna have our pump in, we're gonna come out of here with our plumbing, and then we've got some valving that's gonna feed all this. We have to be able to adjust all these uh, spheres so they, they work out perfectly. What I wanna do with this guy, is we'll put it on the back side so it keeps it out of the way of everything because on these four corners we're going to take some of our boulders and create some garden beds so we could do some cool grasses and things that make it look like it's it's kind of built into a garden so we have to be careful not to put this too far outside where it's going to start to cut into where we want to go with our garden so let's get this let's get a tape measure colby come on over here with that let's find the center of this and then we'll just do we'll mock up where our aqua blocks are going to go we could take our spray paint and then do the outline and start digging this thing. I'd like to think, I'd like to think I'm on your mind. I'd like to think, I'd like to think we'll be alright. All right, we've got our excavation pretty well settled. This whole area is where our aqua blocks are gonna go. And over here, there's a depression, which is where our pump vault sits. Uh, let me see that pump vault, Joe. So this is our pump vault, and on front of it, it's got these open slots that open up to the inside, and there's these slots here. That's all places for the water to get inside here to where our pump is housed, and then pump it to whatever we're, we're feeding. This is gonna be spheres, could be going to a waterfall, whatever. And the way it's shaped, it goes down like this and it's got this part that projects out here. We call this the foot. Our aqua blocks are actually gonna sit on top of this. So this whole space below that, down here where the pump sits, is all uh, accessible to the water that's in the reservoir. So we can use almost every drop of water that's in this reservoir. And that's the reason it gets recessed down below the block. So in the spot here, these guys carved this out. So that'll sit right inside there once, once we get our liner in. We see a block there. So right now we just have our fabric in here. The fabric is protecting our liner. And then the blocks will get put in where we've got this flat spot. I'm gonna slide this right on top of that foot, right up against that, right up against that vault, and that's how it works. And then we'll surround the rest of it with the rest of our blocks before we go ahead and backfill it all. So now that we've got our excavation all perfectly raked out and leveled out. We're gonna put our liner on top of this fabric and then we'll put another layer of fabric on top of that. That's gonna protect the, uh, the liner from the blocks and from the vault. And then we can go ahead and finish this reservoir up. Okay, so the blocks are all in, and right now what Bowley and Colby are doing is folding in the sides, and they'll bring in the fabric as well, creating that big burrito. Now we've got to backfill this thing, and that's where the structure comes from. When you get the backfill up against it, it tightens the whole unit up as one big unit, and makes it so it supports a lot of weight on top of the blocks. Now, one of the things that you have to be very careful about when you're backfilling is that you don't pack in one side too hard or too much on one side you want to do it evenly because what you can do is if you pack this backside in real tight with the dirt it can push the whole reservoir over because there's nothing holding that side of it so we got to be really careful about spreading our dirt around the outside 
making sure that there's no sharp rocks going in with it. So if you have bad soil, I would recommend using sand around it. But we're gonna put just enough around it so we can get a few inches in the bottom and kind of lock in the reservoir in place so it doesn't get moved around. Then we can finish back filling it up. And what we'll do is we have, um, we have the end of an ax handle. We actually pack in that void really good, get good compaction. Colby, watch, there's a rock right there on the fabric. To your left, 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 left. Yeah. We'll pack in really good with that ax handle. This way, everything is good and tight. We don't get any settling. And then once we're all done, we're actually gonna take the dirt that surrounds the reservoir and cut it down to the grade of the top of the blocks. Now, the reason we're doing that is because we're gonna be using, we'll be using a larger footprint than just what the blocks is to create this uh, trio of spheres. So we wanna make sure that all that water can get back into the reservoir and give us a nice flat spot to put our, our spheres on top. And that's it for today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss next week's video where we'll dive into how to set up the plumbing for our sphere fountain and reveal the finished masterpiece. See you then.